Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to make a start on our vehicle script. But before we do, as you can see, just to tidy up my hierarchy, I've put, for example, all the fast travel points inside an empty game object. I've also done that with all the pickups and the boosts and the ammos. So, with that said, let's create a new C Sharp script and we will just call this Vehicles and we'll open it for editing. Okay, we'll come right at the top here, just under the using statements and We'll put in our normal block of comments. So today is the 13th of the 12th. And then we'll begin, as always, with the variables. So the first one of type private, of type transform. And we'll just give this a naming convention of underscore vehicles transform. Close the line off into the comments. And we will just say defines the vehicles transform private of type character controller and again we'll just say underscore vehicle controller again into the comments and we'll say the vehicles character controller and in fact, I'll put what I normally do, defines the vehicle's character controller. Okay, we'll come to the next line of type private. And we want of type vector3 underscore vehicle movement direction. And we want that equal to I will put it as vector three dot zero close that line off into the comments and we'll say defines vehicle movement direction you can put something like set to zero and start up if you wish in the comments, but I'm just going to leave mine like that. And private. And we want the collision flags. And again, underscore collision flags. Let's close that line off. And into the comments. And we'll say returns the last collision. In fact, how shall we word this? Let's say the last collision flags. Yeah, let's say returned from the Contro It'll be controller.move we'll be using. So let's put that in controller.move. So this is, um, you'll probably already notice some similarities to the enemy AI. And uh, that is absolutely deliberate. So that's why I'm going through these fairly quickly. We've done a lot of uh, things like this before. Mm -hmm. As I said, when we've done the enemy AI and obviously other things as well. Let's just get rid of that and we'll continue on. So of type public int underscore maximum 
speed. And we need to give this a value. I'll set mine to 20 for now. This is just going to be just for testing. So I think that will do for testing purposes. So defines our maximum, let's say possible speed. Come below, public int. And we'll say maximum reversing speed. And let's give that half the value of 10. And again, into the comments, defines our maximum possible reversing speed. public int and our minimum speed and we'll just straight up make that equal zero let's close that line off defines our minimum possible speed and this time, let's make this of type float, and we'll just say underscore current speed. We give it no value, because I'm sure you've guessed already, that will be defined later on in the code. So, defines our current speed. And let's come below here. So, public float underscore and we want our acceleration speed and I'll just make mine 1f for now defines our acceleration value again below of type public float underscore and we want the braking force we need to give this value i'll just put two for now so 2f close that line off into the comments defines our braking strength public float underscore and what we want is coasting slow down and let's give this half the value of the acceleration speed so I'm going to give mine a value of 0.5 F let's close that line off into the comments so we'll say defines our coasting slow down rate and let's just copy that last line and we'll just change it to say coasting slow down reverse uh, I want this pulling up a little bit more sharply so let's just give that a value of one and we'll just put that into the comments and we'll come below here and we'll put off type private and what we want is a naming convention of vehicle states and underscore vehicle states and we'll put in the comments to find our vehicle states naming convention and as you can see it's come up with a red error but we'll fix that by creating a private enorm 
with that same naming convention. And we can just open and close brackets there into the comments. So let's just put defines, let's put all the states, the vehicle can exist in. And we'll come inside there. So I think we'll leave it here for this video. And in the next lesson, we'll be creating the enum and the finite state machine for the vehicles, the switch block. And we'll begin to get all the states set up. So as I said, I think we're going to leave it here for now because I can actually feel my voice breaking at the moment. So I think it will be a good place to stop for now. As always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.